Hello guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this is for getting everything we can in Sinker. A great and very different puzzle game developed and published by Walla Digital and is available to you for just £4.19 or $4.99 in the old US of A. Now before we begin, remember to hit that subscribe button for 100% guides and a lot more videos. This is a little different to your sort of place something here and there. The basic premise is we have to move a puck into a hole using a rod. But of course it is never as simple as that, because if it were, it's probably a rather like a game. <laughs> but it's easy to get used to, the, um, as are the controls to be honest. So to move to each rod or other parts of the screen, you simply move the left stick around, press and hold A to... Um, basically put where you want the puck to go and if you want to restart you just press and hold the right trigger button it's as simple as that now there are 67 levels to get through a few miscellaneous achievements to get but are extremely simple so I'll let you know when we are going to hit them also I won't be talking through the whole video literally only with upcoming achievements and when you get a sort of new game mechanic etc I will explain a tiny bit because I'm such a nice guy like that so we're already on to the uh, second level, this is where you've got to go then, so press the left stick to move to the other rod and then press A to get the puck into the hole. Uh, otherwise, like I said, I won't distract you with my voice as it is a nice game and you will enjoy it at your own pace without me <laughs> yammering on. If you manage to follow me through the entire game too, it'll take less than an hour to complete, but if not, about an hour or two, so it's not all bad. So now then we can probably finally begin then. And as I said, for the first bit then, the, the levels are very simple, you, you're just sort of getting used to the controls, the game mechanics, where you've got to put the um, pucks into the holes, so it's all easy, but of course the puzzles will get progressively just a little bit more difficult as we move on. So as you can see, you go down to the second row, make it stop just before, and then put the third one into the same place as the other two and then move to the next rod and then move them all down. So it's something that you will get used to very quickly. And well, that should be about it. I actually unlock an achievement here. This is for just completing the first couple of levels, but I paused it because I don't know why. I think I got confused about something <laughs> for some reason. So anyway, hopefully you will enjoy the game and I will be back in just a little while. So then we have a new game mechanic now, basically when, um, when you're on the rod, press the Y button and that will change the hook from left to right. So it again, very very simple, but for the next few levels obviously just watch the videos very carefully and you shouldn't have a problem. So now press Y, that'll swap over to the other side so now you can get the next puck into the hole. Simply, simply lovely. So to get our first miscellaneous achievements called Wrong Way, simply stay on the left 
uh, rod where you start, press and hold the A button and that will get us our first miscellaneous achievement. There are other points you can get this, but better to get it out of the way. So, happy days. And we're coming up to another mis miscellaneous achievement now. So when we get our pucks all in a line, go to the very left hand side rod, press and hold A to bring them up, stop when you get to the first one, press the Y button, and we get our next achievement called Puck Flipper, Mother Pucker Flipper. Nice and easy that one again. And another miscellaneous achievement we're coming up to, so simply press the white button and now press the A button all the way down and that will basically fail the level but get us an achievement called Square Pegs. Again there are other points you can get this but just easier to get it out of the way.
Also, sorry, what I did forget to mention, of course, this is another new mechanic in the game where we've got to get the square pack into the square holes and obviously the round packs into the round holes. So that's just something else to be wary of there. And I'm back again to tell you about another little mechanic in the game. So you see your left and right arrow there. Obviously, if you drag a puck onto it, that's the way it's shooting off. So there we go. We've just put the uh, uh, square puck in the left and the circle pucks into the right. Hopefully, you can tell the left and right. I couldn't for a long time, but now I'm good. And it only took me 30 years, so happy days. Uh, but we are coming up to another miscellaneous achievement. So go down to the very bottom rod pull it all the way in until it hooks onto the other one do the same thing press the y button and stop when you get to the hook right here don't go all the way because you'll lose it and then just go ahead flick that up that'll go onto the arrow and that'll get us another achievement there the good catch achievement beautiful So this is another new mechanic we can do. This time we can actually click onto the arrows and then press the A button to change the direction of the arrows. Again, very, very simple to get used to. So no worries about that. So we'll eventually click onto it. There we go. And you'll always know you, 
when you're onto the arrow because of course it will be this big green button so it's not like you can't tell that obviously choose the direction that you want to go and happy days on your way And we're coming up to yet another miscellaneous achievement, so leave everything as it is and go back on the rod, press the A button to go down until the two, until the puck is facing both arrows. Basically, we'll get the ping pong achievement, of course. No need to restart the level, you'll just go to the right arrow and change that to where we want to go next.
And for our next game mechanic then, we have portals. So there will be numbered portals. Obviously this one will have one. And when we drag it through one, it'll go straight through the other and shoot in that direction. Of course there will be numbers, so it'll be sort of numbered one, two, three, and four. So of course you have to be careful of what you're actually looking for on screen. So again, this one's very simple. Now it's two, so we just need to drag it to the portal right in front of us and that'll shoot it out to the other side. If you try and drag a puck through, say, a wrong portal, say there's three different numbers on screen and you try and drag it through a number three when there's not another number three on screen, it will just go straight through and you'll basically end up failing the level. So that explains that. And we're coming up to another new game mechanic now. So you see the little symbol, the one with the arrows. Basically, when we drag a puck down to that, 
Once the puck hits it, it will then change down one into a clockwise direction. So as you can see, it goes down one now, and then it'll go to the left. So obviously, again, this is being very careful with this one, where you sort of um, drag and aim your pucks. Again, the levels look like they're going to be a bit complicated, but they're really not too bad. Yet again, another miscellaneous achievement and new game mechanic. Now we can actually switch the portals. So go onto the second one there and basically change it by pressing the A button. That'll get us our achievement. And you can always tell the ones that you can change because the numbers will have little black dots in them. And obviously the ones you can't change will still have the grayed out dots in them. So of course with these changing of the numbers just be very careful and make sure to do exactly as I do on screen because of course if you do a different number or do anything different you'll end up failing the level. It won't take too long to get back to it again but of course just, just be very careful and do exactly as I do on the screen.
and yet another and the final game mechanic of the game. This time it's the same as the arrows which go in a clockwise direction, only this time we can change it to make it go in an anti-clockwise direction. So click on it once and you'll see it still goes left first, but this time as I said it'll go anti-clockwise rather than clockwise around to the left. So that makes it a little bit easier for us again.
And there we have it then, guys and gals. That is the complete game of Sync R, or Sync R, however you want to say it. That is done and dusted. So now you should have all 1,000 out of 1,000 achievement points. Happy days. Congratulations on another completion. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I do hope this video has helped. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out my socials, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Patreon. If you're on any of them, thank you so much for checking me out. And I shall see you in the next one. Big love.